Retain gang, what's poppin', man? It's your boy Tay. Back at y'all again. Um, still sipping on some tea. I got ginger and mint, both organic teas in here. Squeeze a little bit of lemon, real lemon in here. And, uh, you know, three major ways to become an alpha man. And I mean, there's a lot more, but for this video, I want to keep it down to three. So, um, you know, if you guys who've been following me for the longest, you know, you know my foundation, you know, I, I speak on retention, retaining your seed. And for me, that's, that's the foundation to being an alpha man. You know, um, not only the benefits of letting your energy, letting your seed recycle, and letting that energy recycle, and you know, um, just help you grow overall, physically, mentally, spiritually. But, you know, retaining is all about controlling your energy, being in control of your urges. And as an alpha man, you have to be strong-minded, strong-willed. So you being on retention, you're building that, that willpower. You know, not to be um, weak to your urges. You know what I'm saying? Just like if you was a street pharmacist, right? You can't be weak to your own product. Right? That's counterproductive. So, the same way that you, you know, when you're controlling your, your energy or retention, you're not weak to women. You're not weak to... Um, just anything in general, you can't be manipulated easily, right? And this is why you want to use retention as the foundation. You know, if you're new to this or if you've never heard of retention, you know, go to my channel. And I got many videos explaining the benefits and, you know, going in detail of what it is and what's happening inside the body. So check that out. But being in control of yourself is... A fundamental of being a boss right because you learn a lot about yourself when you're put through stress when you're growing and you're when you're trying to learn how to do something new you learn about your flaws you learn about your strengths and it promotes you know you becoming a greater version of yourself right you got to have that discipline you got to be able to discipline yourself from just indulging in things that's not good for you. You know, when you learn to control your urges, you also learn how to control other aspects of your life. As far as what you're putting inside your body, the food that you're eating. This is a major key as well. But this goes in with retention. I'm putting the retention as the foundation of being disciplined with inside yourself. This would be key number two, is having confidence in yourself, right? But that confidence comes from the mindset that you have about you, about this world, right? So building your confidence up, you got to be confident in order to be an alpha male. You got to be confident. You got to be comfortable in your own skin. The confidence comes from having purpose, you have meaning in your life. So this is why if you watch any of my videos, I harp on having a nice daily routine. Learn to map out your life, right? So you're writing your goals down. Every day you have, you should have a daily task that you, that you notch off. Just the simplest things, you know, I wake up in the morning, I'm going to say my affirmations. I'm going to shower. Then I'm going to go to the gym. You know, I'm going to get some work done. I'm going to read a book. You know, write these things down. You know, I'm going to eat some fruit today. And then try to make that a daily habit. You know, consistently over and over and over again. Right? You're building a routine for yourself. This, come, this is where confidence comes from. Because now you gave yourself purpose. You're creating your own life your own reality, right? 
And then when you're notching off your goals, when you're notching off those daily tasks, now you're actually accomplishing something. So with accomplishment, you know, your brain naturally releases dopamine, you know, which is a feel good chemical. Whenever you get pleasure, it releases those chemicals. That pleasure is well deserved because you're you're accomplishing something you're working for. It. And the confidence comes from just having purpose for yourself um, and really taking control of your life and creating your own reality. And you just sticking to that plan. The third key is learning how to be alone. You have to love to be alone, being isolated. Right, man, I, I love being alone. You know what I'm saying? Because I have clarity of thoughts. I'm able to think freely. I'm able to have more creative expression within myself and able to really map out what I want to do with my life. You know, what's the next step? It's, it's easier for me to not be distracted and to stick to the plan that I've created for myself. You know, man, if you go out to a restaurant or something, you know what I'm saying? You don't always have to go with a friend. Go by yourself. Learn how to be alone. Right? But have confidence in yourself. You know, you, you got to look yourself in the mirror every day and you got to see a king. Before anybody else will see it, anybody else will believe it, you got to see it in yourself and you got to believe it. You got to believe it. You go out by yourself sometimes, man, and just... And just really enjoy being to yourself, right? There's been many times I went out by myself, man, and I end up, you know, having a whole circle of people just wanting to conversate with me, you know, just because the way I carry myself. I'm not sitting there looking around like a weirdo, you know, like I'm nervous and scared. You know, I'm confident, man. I'm, I'm, I have poise about myself. I'm in my frame, you know, and I'm, I'm either on my phone, you know, answering questions or just, you know, I'm keeping myself busy or I'm just enjoying myself. You know, people respond to your energy. People respond to your energy, especially women, you know, especially women because they're reactionary. So you got to have that energy about yourself first. You got to exude that energy before people to take you some type of way. For people to see you as a confident person. Being alone helps you get a lot of stuff done. Right? You don't have to deal with all these energies of other people. You know, you only have yourself in this life. Women come and go. People come and go. But the only thing that's consistent... The common denominator in your life is you, you know? In my life, through the thick and thin, when I didn't have nothing, when I had something, it's always been me. And going through all these things in life, I realized that I have the power to create my own life. It's always been me. It's never been the circumstances that I'm in. It's always been me and the choices that I make and the mindset that I have to grind and get out and get what I want out of life. That's what it comes down to. You know, you got millionaires, businessmen who, who lose millions every day on business deals. But, you know, they're not, they don't get beat down by that because they have the mindset to get more. They know that they have the, the tools, you know, and the, and the motivation to get that back or to keep that lifestyle going. So they don't have a scarcity mindset. It's all about abundance, right? So the foundation, retention, that builds that abundance inside of you. That builds that self-discipline inside of you. That's the foundation. That's your anchor. If you don't have discipline with inside yourself, everything else is going to crumble. Everything else around you is going to crumble. It starts with inside yourself first, right? Having a purpose, you know, having goals, having your life mapped out. And then you sticking to those goals and you, every day, you just being consistent with it. You know, bettering yourself, becoming a better man. Being isolated, not being afraid to be alone. 
you know, not worrying about what people think about you, having that confidence inside of yourself, right? You know, you, you blend these three together, man, and you will be unstoppable. Life is a marathon. It's about patience. You know, you taking one step at a time. But I promise you, man, you know, if you do these things and you really work on yourself and you really stay in tune and true to yourself and true to your purpose and your goals, then you have no choice to become a better man, to become a better version of yourself. All right. So, yeah, man, um, I'm going to have more, you know, more keys, but I just want to shorten this video to three. But yeah, man, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave it in the comment section or you can follow my Instagram, man, at underscore L-E-D-D-R-E-W. It should be down here. You know, you can DM me and I, I try to get back to people. If you got a video request or if you want, you know, consultations, one-on-one -on -one consultations where you want to talk to me one-on-one -on -one via live chat, um, you know, just go ahead and DM me, man, and we'll, we'll get that situated. But hey, this your boy Tay. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe.